Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review and an unboxing of the 3M WS ProTac XPI FLX2 headset. So this is a wireless Bluetooth headset that you use to connect to an aircraft um, and it links to this transceiver which uh, this is what plugs into the aircraft and sends data directly to the headset uh, using Bluetooth so this is pretty cool I'm uh, gonna show you what's inside and I'll demo it out and I'll give a good review so let's get started All right, so it does come with a couple double A's. It's always good. They do sell uh, separate recharging packs, but uh, we'll just use the batteries for now. And so you get a manual, and there's really only like a couple pages in English, and then the rest of it is uh, in like probably every other language. So that's always good. But there's nothing else in the box. It's just uh, the headset and the manual and the batteries. So, yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. I like the color. It's like lime green, yellow-ish. Um, it's got an adjusting boom microphone. And you can adjust the length of it too, which is always good. There's just this little locking collar that you can unscrew. And then uh, you can push it in push it out that adjusts the length get it closer to your mouth and and that folds out too folds out of the way and the quality just looks really good I mean it just looks really well built nothing feels cheap about it or looks cheap um, so it's got a few different buttons there's a power button and there's a volume up and a volume down button. There's a couple more buttons on the back. There is a push to talk button, which is mounted on the earmuff with the boom. And there's also another button on the other uh, earmuff. This is, uh, I guess, a, just a Bluetooth button. So maybe that just activates uh, pairing mode with the headset and whatever you want to connect it to. And it also has an external port, some kind of custom connector, but I guess that allows you to uh, connect to the aircraft with the cable in the event that uh, your transceiver dies or this has some kind of weird malfunction with the Bluetooth and you are on a live push and you don't want to lose connection in, in that. Uh, the earmuffs are adjustable too. You can just kind of move it. It's like uh, friction locked with this uh, band. So it's always good. Um, I guess this is where you put the batteries. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so that just kind of comes off. And so actually the batteries you store in this tray that comes off and then you just uh, clamp it back in so let's go ahead and do that so the headset does claim to be waterproof to some degree um, hopefully it's waterproof enough where you could stand out in the rain with it that's all I would ever need it to be waterproof enough for um, yeah I'm not working anywhere where I'm gonna be drenched uh, just, you know, rain, but, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll do a demo on it, and what I'll try to do is get some microphones or one placed inside of the earmuffs so you could hear what I'm hearing, and that might give you a, a relative volume of, uh, the headset too, and, you know, it's always good to hear what it sounds like, so... Let's go ahead and look at the transceiver now. So, let's open it up. Okay, cool. So it's uh, got this uh, probably about one foot cable. 
and a very nice looking uh, connector. It's pretty beefy looking. It's got this whole handle on it, so you're not really yanking the cable, taking it out of the plane. You have this whole handle to uh, pull it up, so you're not breaking any wires. Um, I read that this is a Kevlar cable, so I'm sure that's going to help with its uh, longevity. But also this has a similar looking battery compartment as a headset. It's got two buttons on it, a power button, and one that kind of looks like a, it's probably the Bluetooth button. Looks like the Wi-Fi symbol, but... Okay, so let's go ahead and open this one up and put some battery. Oh yeah, it does come with batteries, same as a headset. And it also comes with a flag and a ring. So that's always good. You don't want to leave it on the plane as it's taxiing away. I know uh, somebody that did that with the David Clark transceiver. So don't want to do that because you might not get it back. But okay, so let's go ahead and put some batteries in this thing. It's the same uh, setup as a headset. They're probably even interchangeable, which would make sense if they're using the same kind of uh, rechargeable battery pack that they offer. All right, so that's that. It does have a clip. Um, you could uh, use that to clip it onto your belt when you're walking away or to the plane. Um, you could clip it onto a panel on the plane. I know a lot of aircraft have uh, panels that open up where you would uh, connect. So you could clip it on there so it's not just dangling. I guess you could just uh, leave it dangling. It's probably not gonna be too much stress on here because it is a beefy looking cable. I'm gonna try not to do that because I want this thing to last for a long time. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I guess I could dig into these manuals a little bit. But, I mean, I kind of did already. And there's not much, uh, nothing too interesting. Um, I guess you can program the headset to some degree. And there is an app. So... That's going to take some uh, getting used to, and I'll add on to this video if I figure some more stuff out about that. Um, one thing I notice right away when I put them on is the noise cancellation on these is pretty good. Um, I'm coming from a wired headset similar to the David Clark, and I think this is a little bit better than that. And it's pretty comfortable too. It's not like uh, clamping down on my head too too much or anything. So I'm excited to uh, see how this works on the field.